Okay, so a pleasant day everyone. I am Madame Grace Sanders Caputo from Level 1 Block 161, MZIT College of Nursing Academic Year 2021-2022. So for this video, I will be conducting a return demonstration on how to don a PPE. So before anything else, I have already washed my hands and I have here my cap already on my head. First things first, we have to explain to a patient why or for what are we doing this for for example you are to administer a drug and you need to wear a ppe since like that patient is an infection or something like that so you need to explain what's your purpose why are you doing this so that the patient also has the idea on how to cooperate in the whole process so after explaining you should wash your hands. So assuming that I over already washed my hands, I'm not going to show in this video anymore now. So proceed na tayo sa pagdanong PPE. So get yourself a clean PPE or an isolation gown. It looks like this. And then unfold it in front of you without allowing it to touch any areas with the bodily substances. So you have to make sure that it doesn't touch surfaces that has bodily fluids like blood and something like that. So unfold. It looks like that. At the back, it has strings and unfold. So like that. After that, we have to slide our arms inside through the sleeves. So it has to unfold. Uh, slide our arms simultaneously so make sure to not really touch the just slide yourself in here so as for this it has elastic cuffs so it's nice that it has elastic cuffs so at the back we have to make sure it is overlapped we have to tie this at the back. I hope you can see it. Or if you don't, I'm very sorry. But I'm trying my best to use. Bend. So that. So we have already that. So after this, we have to tie the belt. So overlap. And tie the belt. So it depends on you if you have to tie it at the back or at the front, but I prefer to tie it in the front for me to have it easier na. So next thing that we're gonna do is to fasten it. Fasten the waist tie or the belt. So yeah, all done. Next thing to do is to don face mask so I have here a face mask it has two loops so make sure that the outside of the face mask is the non is the non cottony part like the waterproof part the one that doesn't I know absorb the one that filters and it all you will absorb so when wearing like that you have to under the loops and put it simultaneously, huh? Not unang isa, it should be simultaneous. So after that, we have to locate the metal of our mask in here. Locate and then make sure that the chin is covered. So after locating the metal, we have to adjust it on the bridge of our nose so in my case i am using a loop so what if you will ask what if tie your mask now so first a thing that you're gonna do is i don't have the mask is that can you imagine that there are two ties like the top and at the bottom so for example okay what i'm gonna do just to I'm gonna honor this. For example, this is the mask. 
like this. Tapos may dalawang tie. So first thing that you're gonna do is to another upper one. Dito. And then the lower one at the lower nape or sa low ng bun mo dito. But since I have here my bun, like, for example, nanito yung bun mo sa iba ba? Underneath the bun mo siya e, e ano, e, e insert so that the coverage is tight and secure. So, with that, I have to tell you to remember, always remember not to touch your masks. So, so for the sake of this video, like for example, in na expose na mo, and then you touch touch ing ani ani. No, that's a big no no. You just really ano make it secure so that you won't be having to adjust it later over and over again. So next thing that we're gonna do, so di ba na anang mask. So we have here protective equipment. I have here my face shield. I don't have goggles, diba? So, we have your face shield. As an alternative, make sure that this part here, the nose part, is on the top of the mask. And make sure when you wear this, dito ka sa sides mag maghahawak. Not here sa front. Wag mong ganyanin. Because there are some microorganisms present in there, so we don't really know. So, ganyan. So after this, we have to have our clean gloves. So we were already taught how to um, wear a glove. So, ang nakaganda dito is yung isolation gown natin is cuffed. So it's secure. So what we're gonna do is to, I know. Wear this, pull the glove to cover the cuffs of our gown. So there's not really specific technique how to wear a glove. Just really have to practice and practice for you to be able to do it master, mastery and mastery na. So if you are not wearing a gown, make sure that your wrists are covered. But as for us, we are wearing a gown man and it's cuffed. Elastically cuffed, so we're good. So yeah, that's it for our PPE. Our dining of PPE. We are ready for duty. So, this video isn't just about the dining. It also revolves on the duffing. So, imagine that we're already exposed. duty and First thing that we're going to do is to remove our gloves. But before anything else, if na ay mga hukot-hukot, we have to remove it first. So as for my case, we have here the gown. So we add by na siya. Okay, so I'm back with another clip due to the circumstance, circumstance that happened last night. So, I will just continue the process of doffing the PPE. So, first things first, before removing our gloves, we need to untie some parts of our PPE. For example, this part of our gown. So, we should untie it. Untie. And untie it. So, yeah. It's already untied. For the back part, just leave it as it is since we are not sure of the bacteria that are present in our gloves. So, if mati anita, there are instances or the possibility is very high na contaminate an inside part. So, just leave it as it is, okay? So, after untying this part, we need to remove the soiled gloves. Since this is considered as one of the most like exposed and the dirtiest in the PPE since bisan uh, unsa na lang ang so grasp for the palm part and remove it 
So, inverted na to siya. Like, the inside part, kay maunay na sa gawas. Then, as for the unblocked hand, make sure to not touch anything from the soiled PPE. So, first things first, you need to use two fingers to slide inside. Inside ha, not outside. So, inside it out. Disposable gloves is disposed na tayo na siya. Since it's soiled, it's not reusable. It's called disposable for a reason. So next thing that we're gonna do is to wash our hands. So assuming that I have already washed my hands, we're gonna remove our eyewear. Make sure to not touch the front part of the eyewear since um, there could be a possibility that bodily fluids are splashed in there. So I don't really know. The safe part in this eyewear is spitting aside. Kana imong ana sa ear since the cap is somewhat like a protective equipment for this part. So most of the eyewear are non disposable, so we just need to sterilize it, put it in the right place for the other personnel in the healthcare team to clean and sterilize your eyewear. So we'll put it here. The next thing that we're going to do is to remove our mask. So I have here a loop mask. So we're going to remove it simultaneously, ha? not isa-isa, simultaneous, duman. So make sure to put the glove away from you. The exposed part, be sure to not touch any of those. Diri lang kasi strings. Okay, this is one of the mo this is the safest part to hold the mask since uh, Wala siya kaayon na expose kay na siya sa imong ear na bit. So, the possibility is lesser than this part, sa front part. So, all you have to do is dispose this mask. Next thing that we're gonna, like, be doing is to untie the back of the gown. Since, kanina, nag, ano pa menta, nag -love. So, we're not allowed to touch this, but since we are already ungloved, we're going to untie the back part and untie it. So make sure to only touch the inside part. Kanang naa sa imo sulod, not the outside part since uh, the gown is already soiled. So slide our hands. Touch the inside only, ha? Inside. Inside. And inside. Next thing that we're gonna do is to roll it so that the inside part maoy na ana sa gawas. So inside, roll, roll, roll. And then if your glove, I mean if your gown is really soiled, dominantly soiled, you have to dispose it. Since uh, this is a disposable isolation gown, dispose. Naka inside and out na yun siya ha. Like ang naana sa gawas is the inner part. Sa ako, ang isukbot ka ganina. So, this falls. So, the last thing that we're gonna do is to remove our cap. So, inside and out pa rin. Because we don't know nga na ay na ano di nga bodily fluid. So, inside and out, this falls. So, after every other procedure, before and after, make sure to apply hand hygiene. Or, better hand wash. So, assuming that I have already done those, so, uh, I guess I'm uh, done for the donning and, and doffing of the PPE. That's it for today. See you on the next one. Bye!